Last week, we saw some big announcements from the tech world. Some of the companies that made headlines were Facebook, Reliance CEO, WhatsApp, Xiaomi and others. So without any further delay, here is the top tech news of previous week. Check it out. Facebook at its recently concluded F8 conference launched a new dating app and made announcements on improving other apps. Here's a card for our video on F8 conference. From last year's second quarter to this year's second quarter, the company Apple sold a total of 52.2 million iPhones across the globe. Apple iPhone 10, as mentioned by Apple CEO Tim Cook was the most popular iPhone model every week in March quarter. Reliance jumped onto the artificial intelligence bandwagon with the launch of a new platform called Geo Interact. This as the company says is the world's first artificial intelligence based brand engagement platform. It listens to user queries and responds accordingly. It also has a self learning mechanism to get better with time. This new AI service can be found inside the My Geo app. Xiaomi this week formally introduced two new apps, MI Music and MI Video. These services are available to beta users and will be rolling out for all by next week. WhatsApp CEO Jan Kaum this week broke ties with its parent company Facebook. The news came from Kaum himself via Facebook post. Xiaomi has hiked the price of only 4GB variant of Redmi Note 5 Pro by 1000 rupees. Now official price in online and offline market is 14,999 rupees. The 55-inch Mi TV 4 has also received a price hike, taking it from 39,999 to Rs 44,999. Asus Zenfone Max Pro M1 had its first sale this week. Next sale is on May 10th. The India pricing of OnePlus 6 has been leaked and allegedly the 64GB storage variant is priced at Rs 36,999 while the 128GB storage variant is set to be priced at Rs 39,999. We also learned that the Samsung Galaxy S10 will apparently be codenamed Beyond and will feature an under the display fingerprint sensor. We saw the launch of Coolpad Note 6 in India. The phone has a 5.5 inch full HD display powered by a Snapdragon 435 SoC and 4GB RAM. It comes in two variants 32GB and 64GB which are priced at 8,999 rupees and 9,999 rupees respectively. The LG K30 with a 5.3 inch HD display has been launched in the United States. The phone has a Snapdragon 425 SoC and 2GB RAM. There was also the Smartron T-Book Flex Windows 10 2-in-1 laptop which runs in India priced at Rs 42,999. The laptop comes with a fingerprint scanner and will be available on Flipkart from May 13. The GoPro Fusion 360 degree camera launched in India this week priced at Rs 60,000. It's available offline at select Chroma stores and as the name suggests the new action camera supports 360 degree video recording. We also got the launch of a new TV the Sony Bravia X9000F with 4K resolution and HDR and Android TV. This starts at 55 inches with a price tag of 2,39,900. If you are a gamer, you are probably avidly waiting for Red Dead Redemption 2, the follow-up to the beloved Cowboy Simulator from Rockstar. We now know that the game is priced at Rs 3,999 in India on PS4 and Xbox One, which is in line with other games in this generation. The game releases on October 26 and pre-orders are already live, though there is no news about freebies or a special edition. Yet. If you are watching the e-commerce space, the big news this week is that Walmart has reportedly reached a deal with Flipkart and they said to acquire 75% of the Indian company for approximately 15 billion US dollars or roughly 1 lakh crores. If you like my content, like and share this video and do comment on it. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and click on that bell icon to get instant notification update. Thank you and have a nice day.